Yeah. Oh! Oh yeah, he's on there. Not for long, maybe though. I want to pull him. Uh, Get him out of there. I don't know. Get him out of there. Okay, if he comes off, he comes off because I can't. Get him out of there. Oh, I had him for a minute. Yeah. Hey, y'all might know that guy up there, Alex Rudd. He's uh, towing my kayak. Just out here on a, on a really beautiful lake, kind of heading over to a creek channel. And um, <laughs> we were going to go somewhere different. Alex said, hey, I got a spot. You want to go check it out? I was like, yeah, that's all you guys say. If you're excited about somewhere, I want to go there and see what's happening. Uh, supposedly a couple, like some big fish in this area. Um, I have been here and seen big fish. So I've never been able to catch anything out of here. So we tried to get here a little earlier. And um, sun, yeah, just coming up. So maybe it'll help us catch a few of these. Chasing fish up there. Look at him. Oh my. Here comes, here comes. A big one. Just lost a big one. Not interested in that. I see a fish out there still. I think he's the one that just hit it this. right underneath me. Oh, that's a big smallmouth, I think. This is a big old largemouth. It's a big smallmouth that I think was with us when, when they were busting bait. Where'd you swim off to? Dude. That was really cool. I saw the, oh, they're busting again. Let me let this guy, let me get this, uh, picture real quick. Look at this fish. What a beast. Up in this creek. He is 19. Let's we'll take a little picture of him. We'll throw him back in there. Uh, I meant to bring my identifier for my knucklehead tournament. I'm in the captain's challenge. and uh, But I, I forgot to bring it. It's like 19 and a quarter. Look how thick it is. There was a, his buddy was just as big as that one. That's really cool. I was just kind of twitching the yum dinger. I watched him chase it down. I don't think I've spooked the other fish yet. That one swam off that way. 
if I can get this in front of something else, I think I can get them to eat it. Legs are itching. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Got it, got it, got it. That's a big one. There's a whole, that's a big one. There's a whole group of them. I got the biggest one out of the group, I think. Oh my. That's a big old fish. There's five or six of them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's a big one. There's all, oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other fish beside me. How big this fish is, this is a really big fish. <laughs> he's not that long. Look at how he's shaped. Look at that thing. Look at how good he's eating. Oh, it's a 20-incher. But just, you would not think he'd be in a creek. Okay. 20-inch. Just awesome fish right there. Man, look how wide that is. It was really cool watching them bust right in front of me. And then about five or six other fish came up with it. Well, Alex was right. I hope he's getting a few. I caught those two on a, a yum dinger, just weightless, but I saw them. If I hadn't have seen them, and if they hadn't have been like really focused on bait, then I, I'm probably not catching those fish because they, they were just chasing down whatever they could find. I'll be replaced this one. Uh, this is, I think, just a two-aught hook. Make sure I ain't bent it up. I used it the other day, caught some fish. Now I got, I got a night that was a 19 and a quarter and a 20 inch. Well, that color was, I believe that color was Elder's Magic. And I think I left that bag of those lures in a, somewhere else. But I have something that's pretty similar, a little more solid. I don't think it's gonna matter really. This is called a Bama Bug. Um, the Elder's Magic is kind of like a more of a clear, but I, for the most part, I, I don't think it matters a whole lot uh, what color. I've caught, caught really good fish on uh, every color, and I just like using the four-inch one just because it's just easy to use and you know catch all size fish with it. Yeah. You got any leader material? Uh, yeah. Alright, I need to grab some from you. Dude, I just watched them eat my... <laughs> awesome. I, 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 I caught them on the Yumdinger. I threw the top water right over top of them, they didn't care. Yeah. I threw back in there, pushed, pushed, switch. It was just fall and watch them eat it, both of them. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Yep. Wacky rig's gonna be it. Not wacky rig, but just weightless. Dude, he swallowed a thing. I'm not getting nothing back. So, sometimes things don't work out right. Fish ate it and swallowed it. I don't know how he got that deep that fast. But, we'll retie and put another one on.
Oh, oh, where's he going? Where'd he come from? Oh man, oh man. Even this is like 13, 14, 13, 14 largemouth. He's really thick. Well, I'm turning around and I'm gonna head. I'm heading back downstream. Maybe I'll come across those big ones busting again. Oh, what we got here? A little chubby large mouth. Another, another one there. I'm working my way back out. Just, just a little, little cut, cut through. So, a little, little large mouth. Just got the call. Alex is over by the ramp, and we uh, our second plan of the day was to catch um, carp uh, on cicada lures, and he said he's catching them. So I'm gonna head that way. Maybe throw a few lures on the way, but let's go let's go see if we can find these carp. Where are you? Do you see them? Yeah. So okay. I was like, I ain't seen any. Oh man, I turned around. I wish we had a camera, but that's cool. go guys carp on the cicada it's freaking crazy it's just like never in my life I thought I would target carp on cicadas but here we are it's awesome man get back there you go they're uh kind of nasty though. your hand is all cut up look at that you got blood all over your hand too kind of right here there I see right here, yeah Right in front of me. Perfect. <laughs> All this, I'm just covering, covering. I just look up, he's swimming right at me. Toss it in, it just comes up and eats it. No hesitation. Once the hook like gets in their their mouth, their, their mouth is so thick that like it doesn't come out. Not like a bass. You ever seen a bass like this before? <laughs> That's a true smallmouth right there. <laughs> get him, John, get him. There he is. <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> Good work. Yeah, it's probably 
Probably a five pounder or something like that. Yeah. Oh, my back camera, st my front camera stuff. There we go. Oh, look, and you got a butterfly on your yeah, on your camera, camera too. That's hilarious. All right, slot him in there. Hey, good work, man. Boom. Good job, buddy. Who else on? There he is. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, happened so fast. All right, well, this camera died a little bit. I think we got Alex recorded a little bit. That was a, that was a fun fight. Uh, happened really fast, and, um, you know, five, six pound fish or something, not even a giant, but man, they got a lot of power. So the little tiny torpedo uh, worked. Alex had brought us, what, what's your cicada lure called? Uh, uh, Alex had brought some kind of cicada lure. And um, I had had this and I grabbed it from the house, a little tiny torpedo and um, it floats on top. Basically, I didn't have to do nothing. It hit the water, that fish just came up and ate it. Let's go back for some more. Get it. Okay. All right, guys. That's probably the biggest one of the day. I mean, I caught one like taller, but as far as length, that's definitely the longest one of the day right there. That's awesome. Oh yeah, he's on there. Not for long, maybe though. Get him out of there. Come on, I want to pull him. Uh, Get him out of there. I don't know. Get him out of there. Okay, if he comes off, he comes off, because I can't. Get him out of there. Oh, I had him for a minute. Get him out of there. A bluegill came up and hit it, and this guy came up and just like hammered it. That looked like a predatory fish. Yeah! How you doing? Another little slime ball. Huh. So cool. I wonder what, what the mouth. difference is. So why is that one like kind of taller? Is that a different species or is it a is it a female male thing? I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, some are a little longer, some a little taller. I guess just like anything. That that one felt like I was fishing for some kind of like. Predatory. Predatory. <laughs> it came out. Yeah. That's what I feel like. All, all the time. I get, I got comments uh, this week about something. You know, just getting people just to have fun fishing. Don't even. I don't care what you're fishing for. Yeah, just have fun. You just enjoy it. Where there's not a certain species that means it's more fun than another. Yep. You hold. Everybody holds a value with certain species. But you can have fun doing catching them all. People eat everything. Some, so everywhere, somebody's got a way that they think, oh no, it's good, do it this way. Oh! About to go over top one. About to catch one? No. I went right over top. They're out, they're out here. The cruisers are like further out. That's what you're saying. Oh, yeah, I see it right there. Uh, yeah, that's a catcher. Catch him. Catch him. You're going to catch him. Bunch of crap's all jacked up. Got it. Different one. Different one. <laughs> that wasn't the one I saw. But he's a nice one. Good thing he's coming out. There was another. Right, there's another yeah, one right yeah. there. See? Yep. If I can get my crap to come down here. Yeah, I'm going to hook my line in there. I got a knot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, I casted that one, but they hang out in pairs. And I got the other one. Down. They all fight differently, it seems like. How is he doing this? He's going out to sea. Oh, he's a nice one. I didn't get a picture of this one if I get him in.
Now, did you see him eat? Yeah. Was that the one you were looking at? Or was it the other one? I was looking at the other one. Yeah. He, this one came from the opposite direction. Yeah. It was, I was like, oh, where'd he come from? Yeah. That, that's that every all all the ones I've called all three. They when they've hit it, they just they didn't have a you know hesitation at all. Man, this this is a good one. You must. Ah. This striper don't even fight like this. Nice in here. We're just working our way back and um, to go leave here and get some Mexican here in a second. We saw all this. Well, I saw a different one threw in there and this one came in hit. Heck yeah, John. <laughs> that was buddy. a fun, fun eat right there. That's awesome, Good man. Good fight. Heck yeah. Good work, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, they slime it up. You go to so many places. What's the name of that wilderness there in Georgia? Uh, Cahada Wilderness? Yes. Yeah. Big yeah. catching carp. Carp. Uh, carp. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're eating like crazy off the top. He's catching them on the fly. We're just catching them on little lures. Well, I am glad we got out early because that turned out to be a fun day of fishing. Not that I needed to be there early for anything because uh, we caught the carp in the afternoon. Caught the uh, largemouth, I guess somewhat earlier in the day, but it was funny how I went through there the right exact time they were busting out in the middle, uh, like wolf packed up. And that's really, I mean, that's why I caught them because uh, I, I saw other fish I could barely get any other bites. But uh, little lures catch good fish. Uh, and a little, I mean, obviously I use the four inch yumdinger and catch a lot of good fish on it. And then the little head and um, whatever that little tiny torpedo uh the bluegill were popping at it like crazy and the way those carp were hitting it was uh was fun it's something i've never done before and i it may never happen again that way um but maybe i'll try to get a little bit more of that in while the cicadas are still around thanks so much for watching and i appreciate all the support